13.8 billion years ago, a massively hot and dense event named the Big Bang took place. Within the first fraction of a second, photons of light began appearing, except those photons weren't free to move, not yet at least. They were prisoners, and had to wait 380,000 years in order to be able to move. A photon is the smallest block of light. They have no mass, but they still do have momentum. When light is produced by a light bulb, for example, it immediately spreads out in all possible directions at 300,000 kilometers per second. It takes just over a second for the moon's light to reach us, and about a billionth of a second for you to see this picture of Einstein. A very common misconception is to imagine the early universe as a small, hollow ball with particles bouncing around inside its walls. A better way to think about this is that the universe was the energy in the space itself. There was no outside. Everything then was packed with an incredibly dense, hot and uniform soup of energy. And that everything happens to be the size of a grapefruit compared to the universe today. Photons were constantly being created and absorbed. A photon would be emitted when an electron and positron collided and annihilated. And then that photon would almost instantly be absorbed creating another electron-positron pair. This process happened non-stop. The thing is, there was no such thing as empty space for them to travel through. The distance a photon could travel before interacting with something was virtually zero. As the universe expanded, it also cooled. And around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, it was cool enough for electrons and protons to combine into neutral hydrogen atoms. This is a pivotal moment called recombination. At this point, the photons stopped interacting, with no more free electrons to scatter off of. The photons were finally able to travel freely through the now transparent universe. They are what we detect today as the cosmic microwave background. This video was made possible by photons hitting millions of light-sensitive receptor cells in the eyeballs of viewers. 